takes a man on the run after officials say he's been impersonating a police officer near Harrison Township. Deputies say the impersonator is armed and dangerous and is even robbing his victims. Tonight, Birchell Edmay is learning more looking at the investigation being done by the real cops. Birchell? Mark officials tell Two News that Jason Harold is wearing an old uniform from a security job to con people. With each target, he's claiming to be an to be investigating rather or making arrest for drug use or trafficking. Jason Harold, he's a wanted man believed to be on the run in Cincinnati, according to the sheriff's office. Officials say Harold, in two separate cases, has impersonated an officer, later robbing several victims. The first reported incident was at the Ramada Inn, where authorities say he was a former security guard. So he approached him and he said, I've seen you smoke marijuana on the balcony. I need your identification. So he goes into the rooms, he gets their wallets, and he leaves. Well, he never came back, so he took their wallets, their cash, their credit cards, and all that. Victims reported Harold claimed he was with a special drug task force. Then deputies say Harold upped the ante, adding accomplices to his master plan. Him and Nicole Rigglesberger and Jacob Rigglesberger set up a robbery of a drug dealer. Sheriff Phil Plummer says the duo knew the woman was a drug dealer near the Dixie Strip. Officials learned Harold strips at local clubs there and has a familiarity with the area. So investigators believe his accomplices set up a time to get drugs and Harold acted as a cop, busting the transaction. Deputies say he pretended to arrest the woman and later robbed her. Now police have a warrant out for his arrest on several charges, including impersonation of an officer, kidnapping, an aggravated robbery, and authorities have a warning for citizens. So if it doesn't seem right, you know, ask questions because you have the right as a citizen to say, I need to see your ID. I want to talk to your supervisor. So be very careful. The sheriff's office believes Harold's primary targets are criminals or people in high crime areas. Officials say he is well armed with several rifles and handguns. They warn citizens to be cautious and call police if you see the impersonator. Beershell Edmay, 2 News, working for you.